Hello YouTube, this is Science, and I am on Health Tank, and I'll be doing a prot guide. I'll be doing a full guide, so that includes macros, keybinds, glyphs, talents, and rotation. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the keybinds. Now, if you do not know this, I do use a Razor Shomo and a Razor Naga. Um, I have my Razor Naga binds right here, these first five lines, and three down. And the rest are my Razor now. Now for Q, I have Victory Rush. For E, I have Homo. For R, I'm a Shield Ball Macro. If you like to see it, I'm going to show you it right here. It basically just pops my Shield Ball, a Dive Bot Sword. Shield Block, if I have enough rage, puts me in, puts me into defense stance if I'm not already. And it puts my one handed shield. Pretty simple. Um, for the... Um, what you see here, there is a up, down, left, and right. That's the keypad for my Razor Nostromo. Um, if you do not have a Razor Nostromo or Razor Naga, you can still make use of some of these binds. Some of them, obviously, you would have to make different, but some of them you can still use. Like for this, you could just have it as a modifier for W, A, S, and D. But for up, I have heroic throw, which is heroic throw, and taunt in the same macro. This is just my trinket. Right is berserk rage, and down is a heal macro. If you like to see it, it, it does railing cry, health stone, last stand, and commanding shouts all in one. So, um, in case I'm doing battlegrounds, then that'll keep me up. And if I'm doing arenas with someone. I'll take out the railing cry and I'll just drag that like somewhere over here to where I can just click that in case my partner starts to get low health and I don't necessarily need to blow all my cooldowns. Um, for right, I just have Berserk Rage in case I'm in a CC and my trinket is not off cooldown yet. For Z, I have Shattering Throw. For X, Intimidate Shout. For C, I have Cleave. And for that little space, it is nothing right there. It just wouldn't. I just didn't want to put anything right there. Um, for the wheel up on my Razor show me I have T. For wheel down, I have Z. And for the click, I have G. For T, I currently don't have anything. For G, I have my automatic rope throw. For my Razor show my meta macros will click G and it will also click the button down in one motion so I will not have to click around for it, it'll just do it automatically where my mouse is. And for Z, I just have my burst macro. It does all my defensive cooldowns, and it costs my 100, um, number one hit, my two, two-handed one-hander. Yeah. Is that right? No. Well, it equips my, um, my two-hander. And because I do blade storm with this, so that'll just increase my damage even more. Um, for wheel up, I have execute. For the button click, I have my intervene macro. If I can see it, it is target mocking banners slash cast intervene slash cast mockingbird and clear target. So what that'll do is this I have not made automatic yet, but I can click it down, and as you can see, it shows this whole thing. So I can place it down. If I click it again, it will intervene it. I can intervene it right now because I might like this backdrop to it. But that's what that does, and wheel down is just the um, demoralizing shout. And if you're wondering why I use mocking banners, because I really don't use that in PvP, but if I do need to use it, I'll place it down just to get the pets focused on it. If I'm trying to do a um, hunter, but most of the time I just will use that. And for the B5, um, that is my intervene slash charge macro. This one actually made by myself. Um, I saw someone who made a more complicated version of it on YouTube, but I don't really like want it to be like that. It's the cast sequence harm charge. Um, friendly intervene and the no spam macro. You could just copy this down directly. What it'll do is if you're targeting a harmful target, it'll charge them. If you're targeting a friendly target, it'll intervene them. And um, for
for B4 is just piercing hell. And I don't have anything for the ult modifier, but I think I might have one of those later on. Um, for shift B5, I have my um, defensive stance. It puts me into defense stance, cast commanding shout, and equips my one hitter shield. Um, just after my burst. And for shift B, I just have my PvE gear in case I'm doing that. I have not gotten all of it, that's why it looks kind of weird. But I do have some of it. Um, let's see. Okay, now for the talents. For the talents, um, a lot of people, they do not like double time, but um, it suits my needs. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, I did have Juggernaut for a while, but as um, a flag carrier and prot, you really need to more mobility. So I chose double time. Second win, pretty obvious choice. I was gonna um pick and run and rage regeneration, but I'm so used to not having to really use any cooldowns for healing because I rarely use any of my healing cooldowns because I usually have someone pocket healing me or I'm just um don't really care if I die, I'm just going out there for some fun. Um, so that's why I chose second win. For piercing hell, I simply chose that for when, uh, this is, like, the thing I hate the most is when the hunter use, I think it's called stampede, and all of his animals just go at me, I don't like that. So what I'll do is I'll heroic leap away, and then I'll use piercing hell, so they will just stop attacking me. It's pretty good for getting rage, but not so good for your health. Um, for... I got Blade Storm just because of the increased damage it does in prot and it is a good burst. Excuse me. Um, I did choose Dragon's War for a while, but I decided not to use that. And I um, chose Master Reflect simply because um, I like having that other spell reflect on me. And also is good, pretty good for Arena. And I have Avatar just for the burst. Um, for Glyphs, pretty simple. Have glyph of I mean um, glyph of hold the line, glyph of ferocious thundering, and glyph of death from above. This did get nerfed; it does not do the damage anymore. But I still like the 15 second roll leaps. And just for the funds, I chose the burning anger glyph and the mighty victory glyph. Um, for rotation, what you could do. Um, oh, I didn't do these keybinds. Um. For one, I have my Shield Slam. For two, I have Devastate. For three, I have Heroic Strike. For four, I have Shield Bear. For five, I have Revenge. For six, I have Shield Block. For seven, I have Spell Flight. For eight, Blade Storm. For nine, I have Master Spell Flight. Now, actually, all these things, they are macroed. So, I'll show you those. This is my Shield Wall. I mean, my um Shield Slam. This is my Devastate. This is, oops, this is Heroic Strike, no wait, that's the Revenge, which one is, I don't know why I have them all the same thing, but this one is Heroic Strike and the Thunderclap, since it doesn't cost any rage, I just put it in right there. This is Shield Block, and this one was, um, this one was Revenge, and this one is Shield Block. And for spell flicks, um, it's pretty simple. Just cuts my one handed shield, and blade storm. It just does blade storm, and it also cuts my one my um two hander. I'm still used to saying one hander. It cuts my two hander, and it um does my trinket. And for nine, it actually does not have a macro. But what that'll basically do is every time I do a heroic strike, it'll do the thunderclap obviously but it'll also cut my two-hander which will increase my damage done by the um heroic strike and I also have that for the revenge as well those are the only ones that do that but every little bit of damage can help you especially um if you are just starting out they do switch pretty nicely um i do not have any worries about them something that is kind of um sometimes annoying so I'm looking at my bars I'm switching and as you can see the um the R the shift B4 and the just regular shield wall it just keeps flashing and that kind of annoys me
but it usually doesn't matter because I'm usually focusing on what's going on over here not over here um, if you're wondering I do have all my cooldowns laid out right here I just like to be able to see them and see what's on cooldown in case I want to burst or I'm getting damaged a lot and right here are my mounts it's all the turtles and right here are the drakes that I have I do not have um, I did have a cast sequence for them but I decided just to put them right there because it didn't really make a difference and for this um, for this little area right here is kind of tucked in it's my TTP which is time to pwn I'm going to show you right here um, don't want to say that in guild chat um, here it is it's just um, a little skull face I made and it says time to pwn I do that for when I'm just about to go on battlegrounds and maybe the team needs some encouraging and this is for a pocket healer in case my pocket healer is not on I usually have two pocket healers on my friends list but if I do not have one of them on then I will just do a pug um, and for these two underneath those are just the vendors from the guild and the mobile banking and mass mass resurrection and my hearthstone right here it used to be um the little tollbrad thing but i've finished getting my mounts for there so i really do not need it it's the um jake of the west wind mount so i do not need to go back to tollbrad i still eventually will go back there just for the um guild experience on my other characters but um, I'm actually going to transfer this character to another guild, so I will be needing to go back to Stobray. Um, and for here is just the Conjured Mana Buns. Um, that's the Conjured item from Mages and the Health Stone right here. And this is to open up my macros. I can just click it, and it'll open them up. And this is just for the anti-spam. Like, if I'm doing Thunderclap right now, you can see it's not showing up right here and that's just because of that macro also I have been in, in a bunch of my other macros just um, just in case I accidentally try to click this for some reason and I move that I do have um, a suggested rotation you do not have to have this, this is just what I do I start off with a shield slam I get two devastrates up I do a revenge and then I do the rotation over again and when I have because you will be getting a lot of rage because none of these abilities use rage well your devastate would if you do not have the glyph but I do so it doesn't cost me any rage so the really the only one that cost me any rage is my shield wall I mean my shield block and shield barrier I think it's called yeah shield barrier and my heroic strike those are the only thing that only three that really cost rage, so I do not focus on them that much. If I want to, I will do the heroic strike instead of the shield block or a shield barrier just to do some more damage. But most of the time, I will do one of those in case I do not have a healer. If I do not have a healer, I will be doing very defensive, so I will be doing the least amount of heroic strikes possible. And that is the end of the video. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be making more videos soon. And later on tonight, I will be doing a arms guide.